Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Beyond Second Cognition. I'm Andrew Beal. The topic of this discussion is the virus vector. I'm sure many of you have wondered, and it took me a while to figure this out, exactly how the Hapin virus was able to infect people, how it was able to move from one to the next to the next in its process of replication to infect humanity as well as other species. At the time I wrote The Energetic War Against Humanity, I hadn't quite figured out exactly what the infection vector was. But subsequent research and Soika insights have provided me with this answer, and it's not going to be what you expect. But once I lay out my case, then you can make your cognitive determination as to how correct you feel it is. And I don't mean feel emotionally, I mean feel in a form of sensing. If you look at all these religious and spiritual doctrines, even this crap in the modern political arena, what's the one thing that gets emphasized above everything? That big four letter word called love. Can't we all just love one another and stop the hate? Find the divine love and love will bring you bliss. I worship my God because he's a God of love. I just want the love of God. So let's analyze this love thing from the standpoint of a predatory virus. Love is a human weakness. Love is everybody's soft point because ultimately everybody just wants to be loved. You look at people with their anxieties and how they get when they feel unloved. Nobody loves me. How many times have you heard that? So love is an emotional human weakness. And if I were a predatory virus and I were going to attack my enemy's weak spot, love would be the place I would hit them. Just as I've explained in some of the books, a couple of them anyway, whenever people made this connection with the Hive Collective, it would stimulate the heart chakra and, and give people this overwhelming feeling of love, like falling in love, you know, the, the head over heels feeling of love, this ever expanding feeling in your chest of love and being loved. Love was the virus vector. And if you think about it, every mammalian type creature loves its offspring. There are very few mammals that have their offspring that don't exhibit caring for their offspring, whether it's multiple animals in a litter or humans and their babies. Mother love, that's the big one. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how this fucker spread. As soon as an individual that was infected with the virus would love another part, a baby, say, for instance, then that love became the infectious vector. That's how the virus jumped from one of us to the next, because love was the catalyst that made it all fit. And it's because of the human weakness for love and needing to be loved that all these religious and spiritual doctrines teach love and they're pounding that shit in the political arena. Oh, we need more love in the world. Love is the virus vector. Love was the medium of the infectious exchange. And as much as your mind wants to rebel at that, love is the human weakness. It is the one place that you can get somebody and hurt them the most. Look at how you feel when you have your love rejected. Look at how you feel when you are unloved or feel that nobody loves you. Look at how much, well, I just want somebody to love. And we got rock songs that sing this shit. We have love pumped up our ass day in and day out through every goddamn heart sick country song, rock song, any kind of song you want to pick. They're blowing love up our ass day in and day out. They do it in the fucking movies, romance, comedies, love, 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 love. Everywhere you fucking turn, man, you can't escape from this shit. And this is why it's capitalized on. They want to sow that anxiety to increase that weakness for not being loved or wanting for love or looking for love in all the wrong places. You need to see this. Love is the weakness and love is the virus vector. 
When you're working towards the second cog, you're not working towards love and you're not working towards bliss. You're working towards pragmatism and being able to function in a crazy world that surrounds you. Love doesn't have any part in this. This emotional love is hyped by everybody and to everybody it was a virus feeding ground. The anxiety over love, the desire for love. Stop and think about the emotional food generated to the virus by this fucking emotion. Love. And humans don't have any concept of what love is. All they have is this ditzy, romantic, heartaching bullshit. And when the hive could trigger that love response by making a connection to it, man, they were sold American. So love is how the virus transmitted. Love is how they spread this shit. Anxiety over love makes people look for love. Oh, I want to experience the love of God. I want to experience the love of divine. Love will fix it all. Do you see how the propaganda has worked to keep this virus capability there? And that's how it spread itself. Love was the fucking vector. Love was the medium through which the virus expanded itself in every culture and every civilization throughout the cosmos. That need for love, that anxiety for love, that fulfillment of love, it's all the same fucking thing. And that was the weak point the virus hit every one of us on. Until you can transcend this dependency on love, these mental anxieties over love, the unfulfillment of unrequited love, you're still a victim to the virus. Transcend it. Be better than that. Love has nothing to do with this, particularly the human perceptions of emotional love. Because it's just amped up artificial love. It has no genuine basis in what real love is. And real love has nothing to do with emotional dizziness and achiness and anxiety. I'm throwing this out here for you guys to come to terms with it because this isn't an easy pill to swallow, but I stand by what I say. This is the virus fucking vector. And now you know why they're peddling love around every goddamn street corner through every radio station on every goddamn TV station. Love, love, love. Love the divine. Love God. Love your neighbor. Love yourself. That's the real big one. How do I love myself? Under the constraints of the virus, you can't. It's an impossibility. So for those of you doing the work, stay the course and don't give up on yourselves.